This is a review of the Attacker Core Cycling Jersey. Uh, I bought this in May 2016 um, and then I rode it about 10 times from there until it became too hot to wear uh, throughout summer. Um, so I didn't wear it again until winter um, and I've now worn it through winter and it's uh, January 2017. So this is my review. I've done about four or 5,000 kilometers of this. Usually I wear it with a, a, a base layer, some Rafa base layer thing that I've got, and uh, thermal shorts. Uh, first of all, let's talk about uh, Attacker. Attacker is an Australian boutique cycling wear company. Um, they design their stuff in Australia, uh, and then they send off the designs to Italy uh, to get made. Um, I suspect they're using something like uh, Bicycle Line in Italy, or one of those you know large, uh, cycling wear manufacturers that do a lot of other brand stuff. So let's talk about the jersey then. Um, this is the core design. They do something called a race design as well. So the core designs are kind of one down from the from the max uh, super lightweight fitted thing. This cost about 179 Australian dollars, which is about 130 American dollars or about 110 pounds uh, to put it into perspective. It's pretty nice. This is a this is a small. Um, it's January at the moment, so you'll excuse me if I'm not, you know, completely shredded. Uh, but this is a small and it's got sort of room in it. Um, I unfortunately sit between small and extra small, depending on the time, time of year. Uh, so either the smalls are a bit too big when I get super ripped or the extra smalls too tight when I'm sort of chilling out a bit in January and February. So, you know, that's my problem. Um, let's look at the fit then. Uh, the arms are all right. They're they're a bit they're a bit loose, um, and it sort of wrinkles up around here. It doesn't really sort of fit like a skin suit. I mean, this is the core design, so you know I haven't tried to race one. That might be better. Um, from the side, uh, it, it's pretty good at the back. It's longer at the back, so when you when you bend over, you can. Uh, you know, it, it sits down and doesn't doesn't rise up your back. Um, fits it's it's fitted in pretty nice around your around your stomach and that, so it's not there's no sort of baggy material there. This is a bit high, I thought, um, and it seems a bit like they've just sort of picked a standard pattern out of a bicycle line or other company's catalogue. Um, I would have preferred it to be lower like that. The zip is covered on the front, so that's nice. So the design can go all the way around. Um, I opted for these uh, horizontal uh, black lines, which, you know, every woman's fashion magazine will tell you that, that that makes you look fat. So obviously vertical lines would make you look slimmer if you've got a bit of, you know, you're carrying a bit. Um, in terms of the material, the front section is a sort of textured lycra, smooth. There's no, there's no side panel, right? It just, it just goes all the way in. There's no sort of like, side panel like you get on these super lightweight race jerseys um it just goes all the way around to the back pockets on the back are a little bit small um for my liking i don't have big hands right gloves i wear small right so my hands you know are sort of on the edge getting in there if you are in possession of medium or large hands you're gonna have problems getting in there they should have made them a bit bigger i think but then that might have you know been a bit of a juggling act with getting it fitted so well, you know. Uh, we'll get into some more detail about uh, how it's all made and look at the good points and the bad points next. Right, let's start analysing this thing in a bit more detail so we can see how they've made it, how it goes together. Um, then we can start looking at the good points and the bad points. Right, this is the sleeve then. You can see the one material is this kind of quite light uh, lycra with dots on it. Uh, the, other, the other part of the material is a more sort of finely textured material. Now this material here is used also on the front panels and this material, this more sort of fine one, is used on the rear. The sleeves are just rolled over and stitched. There's no sort of gripper in there. Um, you can see the inside of the material there and then the inside of the uh, the finer one. Uh, the stitching you can see there. Um, the stitching on the sleeves has been fine, nothing's happened there. Let's have a look at the, uh, look at the collar. Collar has really got a logo on it. Um, again, you can just see it's a fairly standard zip. There's nothing proprietary there like the Rafa stuff. Um, on the inside, look at that. F 
fuck yeah. Designed in Australia, made in Italy. So there you go. Size S on the back, you've got this logo. And then there you go, that's the, uh, that's the back texture. All right, the stitching on the inside is all pretty good. Nothing's happened there. Stitching's all good around the collar. This, this collar is high, like I say, it sits pretty high on your neck, um, which is part of the reason that I didn't wear it all the way through summer, because it's just too hot. But it doesn't irritate. It's pretty soft, it's pretty nice. The material of the whole jersey is too hot for anything above, I'd say, 28 degrees. As soon as it got above 30, I had to, I had to ditch in and get some super lightweight stuff on. Um, and then I use this through winter and it actually sort of kept me warm. So I really wouldn't recommend the core range for anything approaching hot weather. Um, like I said, I haven't tried their race range, which is much lighter, so I assume better, but uh, there you go. Here's the pockets. There's three pockets on the back. All right, they've angled the side down on the, on the outside pockets. The middle pocket is flat. This is a standard stitch pocket. There's nothing fancy going on here. Uh, you can see the first issue we've had. Um, the bottom has got this sort of sticky, st sticky thing that holds your uh, holds your jersey down. This whole jersey sort of it says to me it's a it's a, it's a standard jersey they've picked out of a catalogue, tweaked a little bit, and then put their own design on it. There's not a lot going on here that is, you know, looks like it's been sort of specifically designed by them. Also, and we'll get into this later. This is not their latest. Uh, version of the core jersey. This is this is the previous version. They have since updated it. Um, all right. So that that's the general that's the general idea. Then um, let's talk about the problems. Uh, well, there are quite a few with this. The first problem I had was stitching on the pocket on here. Now, this whole bottom section of stitching, which is just a single line of stitching, which is really not good enough. I don't think came out. I then contacted them and said the stitching's come out. They, instead of sending me a new jersey or replacing it, told me to go to a local tailor, I guess, um, and then get them to put a, um, some stitching in there. And then I sent them the receipt and they, they gave me a credit note. The fact that they're based in Australia and I'm in a completely different country, that's that made sense, but that was a bit annoying. And that happened, honestly, like within five rides and I wasn't stuffing loads of stuff in my pockets, I, I, I promise. I had that stitched down and then, so this top section was new, done by the tailor. The bottom section then came out. So, I mean, this stitching is not good enough on the pockets, definitely not good enough. Um, the second big issue with the pockets, right? Look at that, there's a fucking massive hole in the pocket, ripped, right? And the reason is, is because they haven't put any reinforcing disc of material where the pocket is sewn onto the main back jersey, the main, the main, the main back piece of the jersey. I mean, that's that is that's stupid. I don't know. Actually, I know one other company that does that, and their jerseys also rip. Um, that is, you shouldn't be doing that on a on a hundred and seventy nine Australian dollar jersey. That is just stupid. Um, I mean, look, <laughs> that's just what's going to happen. If you sew one piece of material to another in a high stress area that's getting ragged around with people getting yanking things out of pockets and you don't reinforce it, <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? And, right, it's not as if it adds any weight and it's not as if it's, you know, it's just it's just not good enough. It's not good enough. That side hasn't ripped. You can see what it looks like brand new. They've only got like a little sort of triangle of stitching there, right? That's ripped. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's not cool. Not cool at all. Um, the other thing, right, this material, this light uh, stuff with this spaced out uh, texture on it has just gone extremely thin on the shoulders, on the, on the, on the back of the shoulders where my, my shoulder bone sits there. And if you can, you can, can you see? Yeah, there you go. Look. That's what it should be like. Excuse my dry skin. That's what it should be like. That's what it's gone thin as, right? Look at that, that's that's a big difference there. It's just, it's like there's sort of, there's two layers to the material. There's the basic thread and then there's this other layer on top of it. That's all just rubbed off. And when you wear it, you can see your skin underneath this and then you can't see your skin underneath underneath the stuff that, that uh, 
hasn't rubbed off. And that is a, that's a giant patch that's rubbed off on, there you go, look at that, you can see that. Look at, look at the line there. That's a giant patch that's rubbed off all the way around on here and on, on, the, other, on the other shoulder as well. Yeah, look at that, look how thin that is. <laughs> Fucking hell. And then that's, that's, that's not thin. I mean, it, it's still quite thin material, but you know, that, that's how it should be. And that's what it's gone as. Rubbed completely off and it's taken half the logo with it as well. That's really shit. Again, on a 179 Australian dollar jersey, that shouldn't be happening, especially after I've not even ridden it that much. What else? Uh, oh yeah. Um, again, this is material based. I mean, like, like I say, this stuff is not made by them in house. They make a design on, on Illustrator or Photoshop, send it off to one of these Italian houses like, I don't know, like I say, Bicycle Line or, or something like that. And then Bicycle Line or whoever makes it. So it's it, the material is actually the Italian makers cock up, not theirs, but it's their name on the jersey. Staining, right? This is, it's like a red, it's like a red stain on here. I don't even know what this eats because I don't ever put anything red in my pocket and I've not been bleeding from my spine. <laughs> I, mean, I might have been, but it's just a, a weird sort of red stain that's appeared. Nothing I could do to get it off. It's almost like, it's sort of like a chemical reaction in the material that's some, that something's gone wrong there. Another thing, which is pretty grim, and right, before I show you this, I definitely drink enough water, right? I'm, I'm, I'm putting in a lot of, lot of kilometers every week. Uh, I'm definitely hydrating enough, but it, this thing stains so bad with sweat and it's impossible to get the sweat stains out. So um, it's imper highly imperfect. Um, and especially for the money, I don't think it's good enough. Now, Attacker have been pretty good about all this though. Um, first of all, their, their communications are really good. So if you email them, they'll email you straight back if they're available. Um, I think they're quite a small operation. There's only a couple of guys running it. So if they're, you know, off somewhere, then they can't reply, you know, until they get back. Um, but it, I, I, get, I get the feeling that when they can reply, they're really bang on it, which is good. Um, if you're watching this, guys, uh, especially Richie, who I've spoken to quite a few times via email, hello, and thank you for your uh, very good communications. I do appreciate that. Um, and they, they've been very reasonable about, um, you know, sorting this out. And like I say, they are based in Australia, and I'm, I actually live in Japan. So it's not a case of them just sort of, you know, posting something to me to send it out would cost them money and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And as I say, they are probably a very small operation. So in terms of... Um, sorting this out. The first thing they did when the pocket cocked up was, um, like I said, they uh, told me to go to the lo to a local tailor, get it sorted, and then they would pay for the uh, pay for the cost of that with a uh, a voucher. That was good. Um, I contacted them again about you know these other issues that were going on, and said, look, you know this is it's just dying. And at that point, um, they just refunded the cost of the jersey in vouchers in in, in, a, in a gift voucher on their site fully refunded um they didn't refund the the shipping fee of course because that's that's something different isn't it and that's fair enough i think um but he just refunded it um i've since used that money to buy um their latest version of their race jersey which is going to arrive on thursday which i'm quite excited about and i'll ride and test and hopefully <laughs> it doesn't die like this thing um but yeah, that, that was good. Um, they're pretty good on Facebook. They reply to comments. And when you reply via email, they're good. When I first used their website, it, there were a few issues with that. They had this kind of currency exchange system plugin on their website that would, that would translate the, US, the, the Australian dollars into whatever currency you wanted. Um, so I thought that would be like Amazon in the, you know, your credit card could get charged in the currency that you'd set the website to. But it wasn't the case, um, which it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a big deal. But when I when I bought their stuff, I actually got charged an extra uh, currency conversion fee, which I thought due to their website, you know, showing a different currency because of this plugin wouldn't occur. And I contacted them about this and they said, we are in Australia, mate. And again, you know, fair enough. But since I contacted them, they've taken it on board and they've actually sorted the website out and it doesn't have that anymore, um, which I think was cool. So they're actually you know, consciously trying to improve their service and their system all the time, which is, I really like that. 
Um, other thing, like I say, this, this jersey is not the latest one. They've actually updated the core jersey since I've got this. The latest one doesn't have this high collar. It's got a more sort of racy collar. I haven't held one in my hand. I haven't worn it, but it looks like they've they've slightly modified the material, it looks like. Um, the fit looks a bit more race orientated. Maybe we're a bit, you know, just a bit better on the sleeves and stuff. So, you know, it does look like they're, they're sort of, you know, trying to, you know, consistently update and, and improve their designs all the time, which I wish is good. And I really, I, really, I appreciate it. I think that's good for a company to do. Um, yeah. So <laughs> if you had a time machine and you could go back in time to 2016 and you had the option of buying a core jersey, I would say don't buy it because this happened, right? Um, but due to the way that they do update all their stuff and they're pretty good to speak to and they they seem straight up and they seem cool, I would go for one of their jerseys again. In fact, I have bought one of their jerseys again with the, with the gift voucher. So there you go. That is an attacker review. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice on, um, but this didn't last long enough. Um, but that's not to say that their other stuff isn't going to fall apart like this. So yeah, check them out if you want a snazzy Australian jersey.